Radliff's Oodles. Directly off Radliff's Tiverton Rom. And Radliff's Betty. Betty comes directly off Champion Radliff's Budkus Rom. And St. Benedict's Bonbon. This was a unique line breeding both parents coming off of Bonbon. Tiverton directly off Buck and Betty directly off a son of Buck and Radliff's Daisy May. Both Tiverton and Betty had a unique cross. Grand Champion Ozzy Stevens Virgil Rom and Grand Champion Havana Boys Maggie Rom. This was like adding fuel to the fire. The Buck Dogs were already known to be great but adding the Bully Sun Carver blood to the mix didn't slow the animals down at all. Oodles was a very underrated dog. Just one of those good dogs that just wasn't publicized a lot. But that meant nothing to historians of the breed. We were taught that a good dogs are where you find them. And her offspring proved such fact. She bred to some phenomenal animals. Grand Champion Southern Kennels made a Champion Loss 187-600. Patrick's Invicto P.O.R. Southern Kennels Rojo. And few dog on Tom Radliff's yard. I remember having the opportunity to purchase this bitch at the age of 7 years old. Although 7 years is pretty old for a female dog. And in that day and age there were so many dogs that were good I really couldn't wrap my head around the opportunity I missed until now. Great source of grand champion buck blood if you're into buck dogs. This exact lineage went on to make some of the tightest buck dogs till about 2010. After about 2012 you really couldn't find the 50 plus percent buck dogs anywhere because nobody took the time to preserve the line and many yards that had it tight got them confiscated by law enforcement. It is important that we respect and protect the breed because if we don't these bloodlines will be gone forever.